The next thing we would like to be able to do is solve for the characteristic impedance as a function of the R, L, G, and C parameters, and this is how we're going to do that. Let's start with this equation for voltage, which represents the positive and the negative traveling waves. And then let's take its derivative with respect to Z. So the derivative of this term, dV by dZ, is equal to V0 plus, and then when I take the derivative of this term, I'm going to get a minus gamma down here, and e to the minus gamma Z there, plus V0 minus times gamma e to the gamma Z. We can compare this right here to the telegrapher's equation, and you can see that this term and this term, without the minus sign, are equal. So let's set those two equal. In this case, I'm going to have minus r prime plus j omega l prime times the current is equal to v0 plus minus gamma e to the minus gamma z plus v0 minus times gamma e to the gamma z. Now we know something else about current. We know that the current is also the sum of the positive and the negative traveling waves. So this term and this term have to be equal. So let's just put it together. In this case, I'm going to have minus r prime. Actually, I'm going to bring that over to the other side. Let me erase that. And let's simultaneously bring this, equation, this part of the equation over here to this side. So what I'll have is that i0 plus e to the minus gamma z plus i0 minus e to the gamma z is going to be equal to v0 plus times gamma over r prime plus j omega l prime e to the gamma minus gamma z plus v0 minus minus gamma divided by r prime plus j omega l prime e to the plus gamma z. Now we can do some comparisons right here and be able to set two parts equal. We can look at this part right here that's in front of the e to the minus gamma z term and set that equal. i0 plus is equal to v0 plus times gamma over r prime plus j omega l prime and we can set this part equal to this term so we get i0 minus is equal to minus v0 minus times gamma over r prime plus j omega l prime. Let's move to the next slide. Let's figure out what gamma over r prime plus j omega l prime is. Remember that gamma was r prime plus j omega l prime times g prime plus j omega c prime. Remember that equation? and we'll divide this by r prime plus j omega l prime. This term is going to be g prime plus j omega c prime divided by r prime plus j omega l prime square rooted. So now let's go back and look at our equation. Let's go back there to this slide. Take a look at this equation right here. This term is the term that we just derived. And what I'm interested in is actually v0 plus divided by i0 plus. So it's going to be the inverse of that term. So v0 plus divided by i0 plus is going to be r prime plus j omega l prime over g prime plus j omega c prime and take the square root. Let's go back now and look at this part of the equation. If I'm interested in v0 minus over v0 plus, there's that same term that I just derived, and here's a minus. So v0 minus over i0 minus is going to be minus r prime plus j omega l prime over g prime plus j omega c prime. Take the square root. Now let's go back two slides and see what those two terms represent. If we wanted to know what the impedance is of any value, we simply want to take the voltage that's positive traveling and divide it by the voltage, that, the current that's positive traveling. Or we take the negative traveling voltage and divide that by the negative traveling current.